Welcome to Sicily by Ape. Cefalu is a quaint town located on the north coast of Sicily. During the Norman rule, Cefalu became an important religious and cultural center with the construction of the Cathedral of Cefalu, which was built in the 12th century. The cathedral is one of the most important examples of Norman architecture in Sicily and is considered a masterpiece of the Arab Norman style. Cefalu is known for its charming medieval old town, home to many narrow streets and alleys lined with traditional houses, shops and restaurants. The town is also famous for its long sandy beach and crystal clear sea. In recent years, tourism has become the main industry for Cefalu, with many people visiting the town to explore its history and natural beauty. hot one today. Beautiful day today. And everything, everything is in full bloom right now. It's awesome. It's such a, such a beautiful time of year. Everything's so green and yeah, oh, I love it. Late spring, it's just hard to beat. I've made it like a mile out. It did just totally die on me, but it made a weird noise, so I'm not sure. I'm really hoping it's just I'm out of gas. Otherwise, it could uh, could start to get to be a long morning rather quickly. I can't imagine how ridiculous this trip would have been. Or, I mean, I wouldn't have lasted long before not getting a spare. But <laughs> do try to do this trip by just like guessing when you might be starting to be out of gas and hope that you know trying to stop at every gas station you can. I think I would have been pushing and walking a lot the first couple days. Or the well, probably I would only lasted one day, and I would have been getting the spare tank. But it's amazing how many times <laughs> I've run out of gas on this. Well, that's not great news, um, because that's the tank full, which means I definitely was not out. like it's okay. This is just a long stretch of not a lot. So I don't uh, I don't want to push it. Just killed a fat bug. Uh okay. Let's see what happens. Bummer is I was definitely not out of gas, so I had a feeling it was different. It acted a little bit differently than when I've run out of gas in the past. It just kind of went like 
go like it just died just did it again so shoot hmm I'm not really sure what to do on that got a ways to go I have no idea I have next to no skill mechanically speaking it's almost as if like the alternator isn't working it like completely just like just dies it's not gas it's like a just full loss um, and then when I let out the clutch it basically jump starts it again I might be talking absolute nonsense maybe I, I don't might not have a clue what I'm talking about I might not have a clue. I definitely don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'm just hoping that maybe it makes sense that it's the battery. Well, it's always funny how much I make their day. They don't understand. They, uh, when I say, I say, I tell them that con diape, lape, and they, uh, they act like they understand, but they don't. Because every time, like those guys, there's two guys in there, the guy that works there, and then the guy. I'm just gonna keep going, by the way. I guess we'll see what happens. I can always call a tow truck. But the guy um, who was also in line who speaks some English, he was helping me just with the technical of what I was trying to say. And it's so funny because I said Lape, but they, they're like, yeah, okay, with your car kind of thing. And then he walked out, he's like, like, goes Lape. And then he goes back and they're having a laugh talking to the guy. It's pretty funny how much they just never seem to understand or they just don't believe me. And then they see it and they're like, goes by, like, come on. And then I told him that I've gone all the way around the coast from, uh, from Chinchana, and uh, he was, he said, you're crazy. I said, I know. <laughs> First time on the autostrada, and technically it won't be illegal. That's kind of that's cool, I guess. Silver lining. All right, just about to enter the autostrada for the first time this trip. Again, another thing I don't exactly love doing the one day that I'm having issues, but I, there's no other detour. I, I've looked at all the ways to get around this, and otherwise I have to go way into the mountains, or I have to take the autostrada for you know a couple k's and then get off. So I'm just gonna have to take it. It's your big shot, buddy. You can do it. Show them what you're made of. starts to die right away, no way.
not good at all. <laughs> uh, I, I just knew. All right, good news is we've exited the Autostrada, which I, as nice as it was, like on a really nice road. Uh, I just was, that was not the place to be to break down. It did have a nice sh big shoulder and everything, but yeah. I can see Palermo for the first time, so at least I can see it. I've got probably 15 miles, maybe 20 at the most. Yeah, I'm just, uh, sorry that there's not a lot of uh, beautiful cinematic filming today. I'm just trying to, to make it, to be honest. It's been a bit of a stressful morning. I said it before, but I, it, it's just an absolutely such a gorgeous day. The temperature is perfect. seems to be doing okay. I don't know. I just kind of winging it to be honest. But I've made it into this is this is Ape heaven basically. And also hell because they get they get pretty rough here. They get they get to be uh, looking pretty bad. But they're all over the place. I've already passed so many and yeah, now the real driving begins. Palermo is the capital city of Sicily with a population of over 650,000. During the Arab rule, Palermo became an important cultural and economic center with the construction of many palaces, gardens and mosques, which greatly influenced the city's architecture and culture. The Normans, who conquered the city in the 11th century, left a significant mark on the city by building the Palermo Cathedral, the Royal Palace and the Palatine Chapel, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Palermo is also known for its vibrant street life, bustling markets, and delicious street food. I've just stopped for a shaved ice in Palermo. Um, it's, what time is it? It's 12.45. I probably still have another about 30 miles to go total. So I'm feeling more optimistic than I was to start the trip since he started being crazy like a mile, two miles outside of Chefalu. I'd love to go for a swim, but I just want to kind of make it to at least Mondello, so I'm out of the city and a little bit closer to, to where I'm supposed to end today. All right, just made it back to the Ape, and I actually, I figured out what the problem was all morning. The problem has been all morning, ironically enough, I haven't been wearing my Ape hat. It's so, so crazy driving here. Uh, I don't even know how many lanes this road is. I think it's technically two. Back there at the light, me and then along with whoever else made it four lanes wide. It is quite fun. I mean, you have to... It's, it's just like real life Mario Kart, you know? Whoa. Except for instead of shells, it's just random things in your way along the road and other drive well other drivers I guess in Mario Kart too. It's really just like real life Mario Kart. Oh. 
don't think that was a me. Even if it was, I'm in an op -ed. just got out of the craziness of Palermo and now it's just a nice, it's actually just a beautiful drive uh, along the side of these cliffs to get to Mondello. And we're done. Uh, today's an adventure, I'll tell you what. All right, hopefully it's gas. All right, coming in truth. There was gas. The hat still works. to Mondello, where the local time is 1.54. We have a beautiful sunny day, topping out around 78 degrees. And we're gonna get something to eat. Mondello is a popular summer destination located in the province of Palermo. The town's main attraction is the beach, which is considered one of the most beautiful in Sicily. The beach is surrounded by a promenade and is lined with bars, restaurants and gelaterias, making it a perfect place to spend a relaxing day. In this picturesque fishing village, you can see traditional colorful boats called lancia and sample some of the fresh seafood. It is a great place to visit for those who want to enjoy a combination of sea, culture and good food. away from the, the Airbnb. It has been, uh, it backfired a little bit, but it seems to be okay. I think it's just, well, obviously it's not, it's not okay, but not much I can do about it. So, um, yeah, 10, 11 miles, it says about, about half an hour because I can't go on the autostrada it takes a while staying on these these kind of back roads so hopefully it's faster than that but I guess we'll see anyway we'll get there and check out the Airbnb boy I don't know he's uh he's doing okay he's just struggling a bit I guess so, don't know. We made it. We're past Palermo. I mean, we are on the home stretch. <laughs> 